Om Shanti. Today is your 147th day of your Godly blessing. In this blessing, Baba wants us to become very powerful. Be detached while taking decisions. Be powerful enough not to be totally emotional while making any decision when we are soul conscious. So God wants us to become soul conscious. He wants us to make the right decisions. He wants us to be able to tolerate situations and people around us. And He gives us a method today so that we become powerful like Him and we are detached from our own part and also from others part. Means we don't get emotional with when things and situations arise in front of us. And He wants us to become His friend. So let's understand what is the method which Baba wants us to take on on this life journey. So Baba says May you be full of all powers. What all powers do we have? The power to tolerate situations. The power to face situations. The power to decide and discern what is right. So that's what Baba wants us to have in us. And there are many more other powers which have been mentioned in the link in the description box. You can go and check them out. So Baba says, may you be full of all powers and be free from all bondages. Free from all bondages. With the awareness of the companion and of being a detached observer. Companion of God, companion of not other people, but companion of God. Because God can give us the power and can give us the values and virtues to face any situation. If we get entangled with people, why, when, what, where, how, how come this person is like this? Why does this person do this? How can he even think like this? When we get entangled into these kind of bandhan or these kind of bondages, then God says, even I can't help you out in those cases. So let's get into the details of this Vardhan. Baba says, in order to be full of all powers, which we have spoken about, and you can check them out in the description box. What powers does a soul have in the mind and then the intellect? In order to be full of all powers and be beyond any dependency, we become dependent on other people. When this person says something good, I'll be happy, then I'll be able to work well. If this person compliments me, if my husband or wife compliments me, if my children compliment me, then I'll feel energetic and I'll be able to do work. Then where is God as a companion? He is missing, right? So that is another dependency. When we have done something, and we expect something in return, a praise or an appreciation, then we are dependent on other people and that's where our mood goes up and down. And we don't become powerful, then we can't tolerate other people. I do so much for them, how come they never appreciate about me? Only I need to do so much and then all these questions and all these statements arise. Why? Because we are dependent upon them psychologically, emotionally and in many other ways. So God says, finish all dependency and depend only upon me for any love or peace or happiness or anything. Don't expect from people, just keep on doing your karma. So Baba says that always remember two things. One, detached observer. I have to see everybody's role or everybody's part as a detached observer. You don't know, I don't know what I have done and what you have done in your previous birth. So how can I even judge you for what you are doing right now in a particular situation because that's your karmic account that's what you have done and that's what I have done in my previous life so I can't say how come my brother is like this how come my sister is like this how come my sister-in-law brother-in-law are like that how come my wife is like this I never knew them they were different earlier God says everybody's role is changing because everybody's karmic account is changing every single moment no two days are the same no one hour is the same no night is the same as the next night. No day is the same as the next day. So everybody is going through their karmic accounts and let them be. Don't question why, when, what, where. Just be detached so that you can make the right decision. You can be there to support them. But if you get emotional of how can they do this? They are my so-and-so. They are my children. Or they are my brothers. They are my sisters. My and mine is the problem. That's where we come into ego or we get into depression or we get into a mood of and we can't then take decisions. We make emotional decisions or we make decisions out of rage or anger and then again everything gets spoiled. So God wants us to become a detached observer, that's why. That's the practice he wants us to do. And second, he wants us to become a companion of God. So only when you're holding his hand, like as a child, you used to hold your parents' hand and you used to watch everybody. You used to never leave their hand and run away because you knew 
But if you go out in the world, if you're a small five-year-old kid, then things and people might just push you around and you might get hurt. So you used to always hold your parents' hand and walk, right? That's what God wants us to do. He says, just think about me, practice about being in touch with me, and then look at the world. I've given you the knowledge in Brahma Kumaris of how the world is moving, what's the future going to be like for people and for the whole world, for countries even. So you see them as a detached observer. Don't get entangled into questions of why, when, what, where, how, because I've given you all the answers. So make your mind less entangled with those questions and you'll be peaceful. And when you have peace, you'll be able to make the right decision in your own life and even be able to help other souls. So that is a very important practice we need to do for ourselves and for others. So the Baba says, by doing this, you will quickly make your stage that of being free from bondage. Bondage means what? Bondage is of not that people are not letting you be free. Bondage is of I am being entangled into questioning of why, when, what, where, how. And also bondage is of I want something in return from them. I've done so much. What is the return? Where is the praise? Where is the appreciation? Those are also bondages. Baba says, I'll give you all that. You just keep on doing karma and you just remember me. In your remembrance, I'll give you love and peace. But if you do everything for them and then you expect from them, that means you're not taking it from me. And that's where the fight and the struggle comes. That's where the complaint comes and you don't feel complete within. You feel empty within. And the more you ask from people around you, the less you get from them, the less you get from me because you are focused on them and not on me. So God says, connect everything of yours to me. Your mind, your intellect, your money, your body, everything should be under me, under my service. And that's for your own benefit. Then Baba says, when you have the company of the Almighty, Authority, Father, you automatically receive all powers. Then you're able to face situations. You're not questioning people. Then you're able to face any kind of person also. You're not questioning why this person is like this. Because you're in touch with God, Father, and you know every soul is different. Every soul's part is different. And you also remember, this is Kali going on. So why should I expect anything from any person? Why do I question anything from any person? Why they're doing this? How they're like this? I don't need to do all that because I have already been given the guidance and the knowledge about the past, the present and the future of the world and even of the souls. So I understand everything. I understand souls. I am able to see them as a detached observer and not question them, not fight them, not try to change them, improve them or try to force upon my decisions upon them. Why? Because I'm a detached observer. I'm seeing them because God is their guide, not me. So Baba then says, you automatically receive all these powers and by moving along as a detached observer, you will not get trapped by any bondage. We get trapped by questioning people. Why did you do this? Why did you keep this over there? I told you not to do this way. I told you not to think like this. And when we get into controlling other people's lives, other role, and we forget our own role of connecting with God, that's where we get entangled into bondages and we drain ourselves out of energies into thinking about other people. God says, don't play God. I am already there. Don't take all the burden of other people in your life. Let them be. Let them alone. Let them think their way. Let them take the decisions. Their decisions are being guided by their karmas. You cannot change that. You can change yourself. You can change your decisions. You can take care of your own karmas. If you were God, then you didn't have any karmic bondages. You could have held them out. But you yourself have so many bondages, then why do you get entangled into other people's bondages? Cleanse your karmas, cleanse yourself and don't think about others so much. Your own karmas, your lightness will help them also. So then Baba says, don't be trapped by any bondage. Simply stay in your body in the in name to carry out that task. I am a soul, I am not somebody's brother, not somebody's sister, not somebody's husband, not somebody's wife. I am not coming to get into those emotional traps. And then question and struggle and want and desire and blame and become heavy and forget God. No, I am a soul. That's it. I'm not even Parampreet. I'm a soul. The name of the body is Parampreet. That's what Baba wants us to reach to that level of spirituality. So Baba says simply stay in your body in name to carry out that task and then become a detached observer. I'm a soul. I'm just observing from the eyes of this body instead of being so instead of being totally entangled into bond those bondages. So the Baba says, then become a detached observer by thinking of yourself as a soul. Especially 
increase this practice this is the spiritual practice which Papa wants us to increase so as to become lighter in our life so I'll leave you with this blessing think about it contemplate about it listen to it again have a blessed day stay home stay safe Om Shanti Thank you.